Hey kids and welcome back to MCA Kids at Home. We hope you are doing really well and we cannot wait to see you guys. Um, this week, what actually, you, what are we going to learn about Me. today? <laughs> All right. Well, today we're going to learn of a story um, from the Bible, of course, about three men mm. who knew that God is good. Um, they knew that God was what was best for them. And that they could always trust him no matter what. Mm. Um, and I don't know, is there someone that you trust, you know, completely? God. Very good. <laughs> yes. right. That's a good thing. We, yeah. I mean, we hope you know, because you know, it's not like you're in front of me and you're, you know, I could trust you because yeah, I see you. No. You have to really trust God because you don't see him. on. You know he's there, but you don't see him. Well, mm. these men knew that. And um, there, there was this king, and this king's name was Nebuchadnezzar, right? Yes, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar yes. Make sure I'm saying it right. Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. And this king did not like God, trust God, believe that God was good. Yeah. Nothing about it, in no way. Um, and this king just wanted to make rules and things his way, mm -hmm. and he built a big golden idol. And that was his God. Yeah. You know, that was his God. And um, an idol is something that we should not be worshiping. We've talked about that before. Yeah, we've been talking we've, about it for a few yeah, weeks. We teach on that. We keep reminding us. And But what can an idol really be? An idol can be, you got any ideas? Your phone can your become phone. your idol, your yeah. video games, your television, even people. Right. Can become your idol. You know, but those, those are things it's okay to have, it's okay to like, but you're never supposed to put them first as an idol. Yeah. Uh, only God, but Nebuchadnezzar wanted all the people to love and trust this golden idol. Yeah. And Nebuchadnezzar told the people that every time instruments were played, that everyone was supposed to fall on their knees and worship this idol, this golden idol. Yeah. Um, so when the people heard the instruments, they would get on their knees and they would worship the idol. Um, the statue. Yeah. That's <laughs> quite silly. But King Nebuchadnezzar made a rule that said if anyone does not bow and worship his idol, that that person would be thrown into a furnace. And a furnace is a really big, hot room with flames you will burn. Yes. Um, does it sound like a fun time no. to be thrown in a furnace? Sounds like a big punishment. It sounds hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so these three men who loved and worshipped God, um, their names were, number one, Shadrach. Number two, Mesh Meshach. Meshach. And number three, Abednego. Sorry, the names are hard. <laughs> um, 
But that, those were their names, and they really, truly loved and trusted God, and they yeah. knew the difference. And these three men, they knew that God should be the loved and trusted the most, that we should never, ever go and love anything yeah, more than God. especially worship right. gold. Yeah. And so they knew that worshiping this idol was totally wrong, and it was sin. Yeah. You know, the Bible tells us, one of the commandments, do not put idols before God. Exactly. Never. So they knew it because they knew who God was. Mm -hmm. And they also knew that only God should be worshipped. Yeah. Um, so when the instruments were played, the three men would not bow. No, they didn't. And he, they would not worship the golden idol. No. Um, so some men saw this and went to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, and told him. He told them their names and that they weren't bowing to what Nebuchadnezzar had said. And he was very angry because he's the king and he thinks that everything should be done his way. Um, so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego um, made, well, the king made them come to him right away. And the three men went to the king because they weren't scared. I, I would say that they weren't scared at all. No, um, they knew what they were doing that was they, right. Yeah, that they only feared God and they were doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, so he asked them why they would not bow to the golden idol. And the three men told the king that God should be worshipped always. And only God. Yeah. They would not worship the idol, even if it meant they would be thrown into a fiery furnace, and that is just such big faith. Um, so in Daniel 3, 17 through 18, from your Bible, go ahead and get your Bibles out, and we're going to read that together. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it, and he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even if he does not we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods yes. or worship and worship the image of a gold you have set up. And they trusted that God was good and they trusted what was best. Yes. And the king was very angry mm. at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he had, them, he had the people heat up that fiery furnace hotter than it ever had been heated up before. And the king ordered the three men to be tied up and thrown into the fire. Yeah. That's scary crazy. and crazy and hot. Um, <laughs> when the king looked into the furnace, once the, once the men were thrown in there, he didn't see just three men, but he saw a fourth man. And none of them were burning. No. No, they weren't. They were just walking around in there. Yeah. If I was one of the three men and that fourth man was God that we know, I would have been worshiping and singing and praising. Yeah. But this is the king outside that furnace looking in. And he's expecting to see them on fire. Yeah. But, but they he weren't. Sees them walking around. With a fourth person. Yeah. And we all know who that was. Yes. That was God. So, let's see. And God was with the men, and the king called them out of the furnace. He yelled and told them to get the men out, because he knew at that point that God was real mm -hmm. and that God saved them from that fiery furnace. Yeah. Because you know what, you guys? No matter what we're going through, God is good. Yeah. God is better than anything or anyone. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had healthy hearts, and they loved and trusted God. And they were, uh, would not love or trust that idol, even though they were threatened to be put into the furnace. Yeah. And they would take that punishment of having to die before they would stand before an, another fake idol just because someone told them they had to. Yeah. You know, they knew that God is good and that, he, that we should have all of the love and all of the trust in him and only him. Yeah. Now that we finished our story, let's go ahead and move on to some review questions. All right. What's question number one? Question number one. What do we call anything that we love or trust more than God? Yes, you're right. 
An idol. Yes. Question number two. What did King Nebuchadnezzar make for the people to worship? Yes, a golden idol. You were right. Awesome. And question number three. Did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego bow down and worship the idol? No, they didn't. They knew that they shouldn't, and they did the right thing. Question number four. What happened to the three men because they would not bow down and worship an idol? Yes, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. Yes. And question five. Who was with the men when they were thrown in the fire? God. It was God in there when they were in the fire saving Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Very good. Awesome. Great job, guys. Yes, very good. All right. All right, Anissa, you wanted to do some little object lesson. Why don't you explain to everybody what we're going to do? Yes, we did want to do a little object lesson. A little object lesson. All right. Ready. So what you're going to need for this if you want to do it at home is two plastic clear, two clear plastic cups. Um, a few pom-poms or even you could use some rocks, marbles. some marbles. Legos, little tiny ones? Maybe, yes. Um, but what we have here is four pom little pom-poms. Ah! Pom-poms flying away. Pom-pom-pom. Alrighty, and then we have a few colors here. We have orange, yellow, and red. You'll need one of each of these, or if you just have two of them, that will work too. Or if yeah, you want to make yours, you. yeah, if you want to make yours different color too, these are going to represent our fire. There you go. That's okay. Awesome. What are we doing with those colors? All right, they're going to fall away. All right, so you're going to take your, Woo! bye. All righty, we're going to take our first cup, and you can take any of your colors and start making flames. Flames on my cup? Flames on your cup. However you like them. I don't know if you could see my flame. I mean, they're the thinner markers. We gotta work with it. If you had some permanent markers, it'd probably work a little bit better, but we're working with Crayola right now. But it would work a lot better if you had yeah, some permanent. Yeah, because I can't see mine. Can you see yours? A little bit. Oh, my flames are real. Oh, they're good there too. Okay. Oh, yours are big. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that way you could see them. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just go all the way around your cup. All the way? All the way. All the way around your cup. All the way around your cup. All the way around your cup. Do, 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 do. <laughs> You can barely 
see it, but it is there in fact. Hopefully you could see it. You could see Okay, well, we couldn't really make ours work too well, but hopefully you get the idea of it. Hopefully you have some permanent markers at home. If not, it's okay, it's just for fun. Right, just get the idea. Yes. And we're using different colors, you said? Yes, and then on your other cup, you're gonna use your orange and yellow. Oh, those are really not gonna hold it. Yeah, honestly, just don't even do the yellow. When you put both of them together, you can see the flames a little bit more, so that's good, because that's what we will be doing in a little. Sorry, we learned about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Very good. Yes and how the king threw them into, into the, the furnace. furnace. And he thought that they were gonna die in the furnace. He With left. those flames. Yes, yeah, so he's watching them. He's watching them closely. And then a fourth person appears. In that furnace. Yes, and so they had it all the way up, so that's why I have two cups representing how hot the fire was. Yes. And they were just walking around. So sometimes they kind of move. Sometimes they don't. No, they're moving. See? They're moving a they're little moving, bit. Yes. Yep. So he saw them marching around. That's what he saw. Yes. Three men walking around in the fiery furnace. Three men plus one. Oh yes, three men plus, plus one. one. Saw yes. four men just walking around, and he was mad at first. Yes. And then he realized that the fourth man was God. Was God, and he finally believed in God after that. And he knew at that point. It took that for him to believe that he could trust God. Yeah. So that was the little object lesson, just to make you understand the story a little bit better. And oh, that they were marching, they weren't being burned by the fire like they expected them to. And it's cute. It is. Alrighty, kids. Well, we hope you enjoyed that story, that object lesson, those review questions, and we cannot wait to see you starting August 16th. Yes, August 16th. Kids are coming back to church. And we hope you're gonna join us. We really miss you. We'd love to see you. Yes. Tell your parents, take me to church. We want you to come. Yes, and for those of you that can't or don't want to, we will still be online yes. every Sunday for you to watch us. That's so please true. make sure you guys continue to watch and yeah, we continue to and do we'll it. We'll see you soon. Yes, see you soon. Love you. Bye. Peace. True.